Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, tips to uh, lower your blood pressure. Of course, your doctor, if you have high blood pressure, uh, more likely your doctor has already prescribed medication for you. You've seen a doctor and prescribed medication. But there are also some things that we can do up for ourselves that in combination with the medication. There's some lifestyle changes. One of the big deal is uh, get a handle on stress. When you stress, your body may hormone, uh, hormones that cause your blood pressure to spike. Uh, take note of when you feel tense and then look for ways to calm down. Studies so show that yoga and medication have lower, lower blood pressure. If you haven't tried either, ask your doctor to, to suggest a class or, <clears throat> or just go online and uh, uh, or do it virtually, a virtual class, or YouTube, there's a whole book. Uh, there's so many ways you can get this information. Uh, you have to watch, another thing that is important to do is watch what you eat. Avoid foods high in saturated fat, fat and cholesterol, and focus on those that are rich in protein and fiber, like whole grain, lean poultry. Uh, fish and low fat diary. All of these things are very good in uh, uh, helping you to uh, uh, well maintain your weight or even lose weight. And of course you want plenty of colorful veg uh, vegetables and fruits in your diet. Uh, try cutting back on sweets and salty snacks. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of evidence that salt increases your blood pressure uh, so uh, be careful of uh, eating too much salt and the aim is less than 1500 milligrams each day which is not much it's not much at all so uh, read the back of the, uh, the the food labels on on the packages and things that I like get and just keep a track of that uh, eat f fewer canned products and packaged foods they are sometimes loaded with salt as a as a preservative so be careful there try to try to eat either uh, 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 fresh fruits and vegetables or, uh, or uh, frozen it's really good in fact I mix uh, frozen berries uh, to my uh, protein shake every morning go easy on the uh, sweet stuff High amounts of sugar can raise your blood pressure and also it can increase inflammation in your body. So both things are bad. <laughs> um, uh, of course, there are sweeteners in soda, cereals, and cookies, uh, but oftentimes they're hidden in the processed foods. And of course, they, it, they, and they won't say salt, they'll say sodium. Uh, uh, but look, forward in processed foods, salad dressing, and soup, canned soup. Uh, uh, very important to keep track of that, of the, of the, of the sugar. I'm sorry, uh, sugar and sodium. Uh, track your blood pressure. Uh, use a home uh, blood pressure monitor. Uh, oftentimes when we go to the doctor, we're already kind of stressed and we're sitting there and so the blood pressure may show a higher number than if we take it at home, take our blood pressure at home and uh, uh, in a more calming environment. So uh, if you can get a home home uh, blood pressure monitor and uh, check it uh, daily. Maintaining healthy weight, very important. As your weight goes up, oftentimes your blood pressure does too. Um, so, and it's also if you carry the extra weight around your midsection uh, that weight is worse for your body worse for your blood pressure and just bed all the way around versus if you carry extra weight uh, in other parts of your body like the upper torso or your hips or legs so uh, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's really important to get that weight down if you have an issue there and strive to uh, no more than two pounds or a week. Uh, if you 
if you try to lose more than that, oftentimes you're not only losing fat, which you want to lose, but you're losing uh, muscle. Uh, and you you want muscle mass. So to keep that, uh, get, get plenty of sleep. Uh, most people need between seven and eight hours a day. Um, so uh, do what you need to do to when it's time to go to bed, to uh, turn off your sensors like TVs and everything else, and your laptop and cell phone, and really get uh, that good sleep. If you have a problem with sleeping, of course, you need to talk to your your physician. If if creating the mood in your home that we induce sleep is not working or not working effectively, of course, some drink alcohol before you go to sleep. Uh, it may put you to sleep, but it, it, it's not a restful sleep. You, you, more likely you'd be waking uh, throughout the night. <clears throat> uh, you need to move. You need to move more. Uh, uh, exercise is one of the best things you can do to lower your blood pressure. Aim for at least 30 minutes on, of activity most days. And then I like to go to the gym but that 30 minutes could be walking a dog, 30 minutes could be uh, um, uh, working around the house or working in the garden, but it's important to get busy in the, at least 30 minutes. In fact, what I like to do since I'm, uh, I'm working out more at home now is I set a timer on my phone so I, can, I know that I'm getting at least three minutes of exercise, uh, I'm sorry, 30 minutes of exercise every day. And that doesn't include all the other things I do. I enjoy working around the, uh, in my yard and I'm building stuff and walking the dog and playing with the dog. So, but at least 30 minutes of exercise each day. And if uh, some people, if they have a problem with th uh, 30 minutes, continual exercise, break it up, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. But strive for 30 minutes at least every day. Uh, of course, drink less alcohol. Uh, alcohol been, uh, uh, can increase the blood pressure. So look at, uh, take a look at that if you're doing that. Uh, smoking, if you're smoking, you just need to quit. There's nothing good about smoking. Um, be careful of taking medicine over the counter. There are some over the counter drugs and supplements that can raise your blood pressure. Among them are cold medicine, uh, pain reliever, herbal supplements like uh, ginseng and St. John wort. Uh, all of these things can uh, increase your blood pressure. So if you take no over the counter medicine, this is good. And you have high blood pressure, it's a good idea to. Uh, touch base with your doctor and uh, let him or her know what you're doing and uh, finally uh, get support um, if you if, if you share your goal with a loved one or a friend and what you're trying to do uh, especially someone that's going to encourage you to to eat healthy and to exercise of course that's going to motivate you even more to do the right thing for your body. I hope this helped and don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please hit that, that uh, like button. Thank you very much. Have a great day.